it is about time that I gave y'all a full setup tour. I want to quickly break down all the components that make up the core of my rig, as well as provide some extra details for anyone wanting to build something similar. So starting with the desktop, we have an LG 34 inch ultra wide monitor, which is great for productivity, as well as some Logitech peripherals. The mouse and keyboard being wireless help keep the switch from desktop to sim rig nice and smooth, which is the whole goal of the setup. The PC is a bit dated, but it's still able to push the pixels as needed, though I can't run EA Rally at max settings without some noticeable loss of frames. I'm hoping it will be able to run Assetto Corsa 2 when that drops without needing to upgrade anything. So fingers crossed. Now onto the sim rig. I honestly cannot remember where I purchased my monitor stand, but I can tell you that the monitors themselves are 27 inch LG panels with a 2560 by 1440 resolution. To make the borders seamless, I'm using an ASUS bezel delete kit and a strip of black masking tape on the back of each joint to eliminate light bleed. That tape blocks any light bleed that would be coming from the Philips Hue lights that I have mounted on and above my rig. These lights use a software to sync with the video output of my monitors and provide a noticeable increase in immersion while driving. I also added two of these foam strips to the side of the center monitor. I'm not sure if it actually does anything, but it's there. Of course, cable management is going to be a pain to get right, but a combination of Velcro cable ties, these cable raceways, and then these little zip-up cable sleeves is a really good way to manage it while maintaining a clean look. Starting with my Fanatec stuff, we are rocking the DD2 with the Classic 2 rim. I also have a BMW GT2 rim, but I don't use that as often. The pedals are the V3 inverted, and I don't really know why I bought the inverted pedals, they just seemed cooler. The handbrake itself is Fanatec, and I'm actually kind of surprised at how well this thing's holding up, even though it does feel kind of flimsy. I feel as though the appeal of Fanatec kind of dwindled down over the past few years with more and more companies offering an all-in-one solution. And I'm no longer tied down to their ecosystem like I once was since my Fanatec shifter failed and they quoted me an absurd potential repair fee to try and fix it. One of those companies being Moza, whose HGP shifter has earned a spot on my rig as my dedicated H-pattern shifter. Replacing the faulty Fanatec one for less money than it would have cost me to repair it. The Moza shifter has a much more mechanical feel than the Fanatec, and I'm overall very impressed with the build quality. The button box you see in all my videos is a simple unit by Derek Spear Designs, and it just works. The rig itself is the next level racing GT track, and I have to say, I am impressed that it can handle the DD2 and a load cell brake. I had originally purchased it for use with a belt drive wheel and non-load cell brake. When I first started sim racing, there was no ready to buy rigs, and you just had to kind of wing it. Now you can go to Next Level Racing's website and probably find a rig ready to ship within whatever price range you're at. The whole hobby of sim racing or sim driving has come quite a long way in the past 10-15 years. The whole point of my rig is to be able to go from working on the desktop to driving down some dirt road in the sim as quickly as possible with as little setup and cleanup as possible and without a mess of wires that I have to live with. And I think for the most part, I've achieved that. I mean, I'm cutting out the part where I have to set up NVIDIA surround and deal with that nonsense, but we can just ignore that. Good luck. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Slide right, 60, slide left, 50. Slowing, slide right and left of the crest. Four right, keep in, 50, five left, 60. Left of a small crest, 70. 
Santos on left, through dip 19, slowing slight left to 6 right to the rest, 40, 6 left over bump, 50 bump, 2 left short into 6 right and slight left, slowing into crest and 3 right, don't cut, into 4 left short into 6 right, long, slowing to crest. And nearly two left, keep it and four right, half on 100. To four left, Titans, 140. Big five right, Titans, to slight left, 120. Slight left, slight right, slowing 100. Left entry chicane and three right, into bridge.